We are live. We are live. We are live. How's everybody doing tonight? See, we got Super Dave in the chat, as always. Thanks, brother. We appreciate what you do for us. All of us. I'll oh, say I got LBG back. Let me get LBG in here. That's, that's strange to have him at the beginning of the show. <laughs> What's going on, my man? What's up, SK? You doing all right tonight? What's doing up, great. Dave? Doing great. How that new unit treating you? Lovely. Got me 20 the first time I tried it out with, so. That's what's up, can't, man. Can't complain. Hey, you want that 1222, right? Yeah, 1222. 1222, that's what's up. Big, That's big, big, big difference. difference between that 9 and that 12. I can see I can see a whole lot more. I can see better. So I can see, see the fish better and my jig. Yeah. Did you stay with that orange crawfish? No, sir. <laughs> Back to that blue, baby. Back to the blue. Yeah, that blue don't pop for me. Hey man, I it don't pop for me. I guess I got my, my <laughs> eyes, you know, like looking at you. So. Just yeah, you. It, everybody's eyes is different, man. You know, on that color palette. But it's just that everybody right. that I've introduced to that orange crawfish, man, they they fall in love with it. Now I will say, if you got that LVS thirty four, man, there was a couple other colors that moss. Uh, that moss yeah, look really good. Did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got orange crawfish look pretty good on it on it. Uh, my last trip out there. Uh, but orange crawfish and the other one is uh, amber that amber. I like on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna yep. flip through some colors. You know what I'm saying? I had that chance to just flip through some and look at them. I'm yeah. I'm gonna yeah. like a lot of them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Jr. Arden came to the light. <laughs> Jr. Mm-hmm. Arden came to the light. Oh, you got put his, yes, sir. Man, you're gonna see a, a huge improvement in what you're you're able to accomplish with uh with that, that transducer being on your on your troll motor. It does take work. Uh, I, I'm, I worked on a video today that uh and it was a it was a terrible day on the lake, and uh I already knew that I was gonna do really well. Because my mentality is they can't leave the lake. If they, if you, your mentality is they can't leave the lake and, and you find them and you agitate them enough to talk about crappie, you agitate them enough, they're going to bite. Uh, yeah. And it's just simple. It's just a fact. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to see, you know, they want to chase down open water fish. They want to chase down the fish that you see easily on top of brush but you can't be consistent on, on just about any lake uh, consistent with catching crappie with that mentality. Um, there are just some days you go out there and, and, and those fish are going to want to hide. Um, That's right. This day that I was out there, it was super cloudy. It, it rained that morning, uh, heavily overcast. Uh, the wind got really bad at one time, blowing from different directions. Uh, I complained about it all in this video. But one thing that you cannot do is give up. If you got no, that mindset, that. if you got that mindset to go get them, you got to go get them. Right. Yep. What's going on, Ken, folk? I say, what's good, SKC? You still hit them in the head, man. It's the love of it. Got to hit them in the head. Right. Got to hit them in the head. What's going on, Chance? There's Slick. What's happening, my brother? Yo, Slick. Oh, we got Steve. Steve came in. Let's see if we get Steve added in. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, man? What's oh, up, Steve? Not, not too good, good, man. What, you got a filter on, on your phone or something? Nah, I think it's this room. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's the got it. Oh, there, there it is. is. Yeah, I'm wiping off is. the camera. Yeah. Yeah, the lighting yeah. ain't that good. Yeah, but it look good now. Yeah, yeah. You may have some stuck on your on your. Yeah, camera. and there's no Wi-Fi or nothing, so it's over the air. Oh, okay. But you sound yeah. good and look good now. Cool. cool. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Just talking about uh my one of my uh, recent trips out on the lake. wasn't my last trip, but it was a, a recent trip out there. Man, I'm telling you, Steve. Uh, I I almost didn't record. Uh, we got to, I got to the end of this trip. I was like, man, I'm, I'm recording for nothing. Oh, wow. But after I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I still ended up with a limit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a struggle. 
And Super Dave has been one of the people that has for years told me that that's what he want to see. They want to see that struggle. And yep. what does it yeah. take to put fish in the boat when that happens? All right. You know, uh, I, I've seen some sometimes when it's a heavy overcast, man, those fish feel free to roam. And they, they, they hold that open water. But also, sometimes I see that they just, uh, they get so close to that structure in it, on top of it, up under it, that if you don't understand what they look like in that structure, you you figure that they've left the lake. All right. And this video that I got coming is probably going to drop maybe Sunday night or Monday. Uh, it, it got it all in there. Oh, and of course, God. you know, I was using them limits tackle baits. And yeah, I know everybody's going to talk about me because they going to want to, well, why you didn't show the baits? <laughs> I gave you the names of them. <laughs> you know what? That's one thing I forgot to do is list the names on the video. So I'll probably put it in a comment. Uh-oh, Steve dropped out. I'll probably put it in a comment. Abbott, what's going on, my man? Thank you for joining us, brother. He's trying to join back now. How was your trip? Your your last your uh last trip out, first trip with your your uh New Year? You know, oh, it was good. It was lovely. You know what I'm saying? It took me a minute to get it dialed in a little bit. I ain't got it dialed in completely, but you know, I, I first I couldn't see nothing. First spot I pulled up to, I'm like, man, it's gonna be a challenge. So I started uh -huh. color game and all that stuff, trying to mess with it, get it right. Finally got it right. I could start seeing fish. So uh huh. So I started doing that. It was over with. Cool. Cool. Yeah, my signal ain't that good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add you back if you drop out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, liking, I'm liking it right now. So, you know, it's it's a big game, man. You know, the, like I say, the bigger the better. It really right. Is. Yep. Really. I, I, yeah. I advise everybody to get the biggest you can afford. Yeah. You notice a big difference on it? Yeah. You, man, I can see yeah. everything. You know, yeah. I can see the fish. Better, jig better, yep. you know. Yep. One thing that I, I can't wait until I see some some uh uh helm feature from Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm surprised Bluegill hadn't hadn't crossed the threshold on YouTube yet. If y'all are not subscribed to this man channel, I'm telling you, go and subscribe. LBG crappie excursions. Go subscribe to that man yep. channel. Yep. Let's help him get over the waiting on some help him get over here because he got some helm feature. And that's the recording, the actual recording of the live scope. Have you done some yet? No, not yet. Not okay, yet. yeah. It might be. I'm it not sure he's gonna be able to hook up to it without it being registered to him yet. Yeah, I don't know. Active I captain. Uh, yeah, I think the guy, yeah. It has to be registered. Clear. Yeah, he, he won't, yeah, he, he and then he you won't clear be able to it, connect. Yeah. Yeah, he got yeah. he got to get it registered to him. Yeah, so I probably want to do better do that the next week sometime. So. Yeah, yeah, just let him know and then he'll do it. He'll, all he has to do is call Garmin, I think. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him. Me and him talked about it. Yeah. Me and him talked okay. about it. So, yeah, That's what's up. I'm enjoying it. So Did you hook up so. your um your other transducer to it or not yet? Not yet. I gotta wait till I put that okay. trolling mode, that uh, new trolling mode I got on there. Yeah, okay. So cool. I get that on there. It'll be on there. Yeah. So yeah. I have everything on. There. I know. I got a ranger up. at the house waiting to get rigged up. <laughs> the wife's I, like, you, I, I you got, got forty packages ranger. in the mail this week. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, I ordered yeah. all everything I need. So. Yeah. 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 Cosmetic stuff, all new switches, all new face plates. Yeah, that's cool. awesome. Yep, I got them um, waterproof connectors we were talking about. Uh huh. Yeah, with the you, he, heat shrink built into them. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. And some of that stuff, I still put an extra layer of that heat shrink over yep. top. Of I'm gonna it. buy some of that. Yep, got a, a hundred H just for my electronics. I got a battery cutoff switch. I even did, I'm going to do a fuse bar up front. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I just did that disconnect. Yeah. That disconnect yeah. switch. 
Right. And then I, I just figure got if I'm going to do it, you know what I mean? Might as well do yeah. it right the way I want. Yeah. yeah. I got I got that disconnect switch for my troll motor, the 24 volt. And then I just got that toggle switch for my uh, live scope. Black box. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. You think it makes a difference, yep. a dedicated electronics battery? I think it, it should make a difference. I think I, I, I'll say this. Even back in the old side imaging, I seen that that uh, a dedicated battery, clean energy, clean right. power, run to those units, make a difference. I think it does. Yeah. Because when you start sharing stuff, you know. Exactly. Because you think about it, if you're starting battery, you got a lot of stuff. You got bilge pumps, you got lights, you have this, you have that. Yep. Check this out. This guy's been on vacation. He says he's been to Thailand and Tao Til. Why you pronounce it Tijuana? Tijuana. Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan. Okay, he's been in Asia. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And the crop over there. That's a long flight right there. Yeah. Oh. He probably went to Padilla. My question is, do they have any crappie over there? If they ain't got no crappie, I don't no, know. no. <laughs> <laughs> caught. They got caught. They go yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe spear up. fishing a lot. Yeah. Yep. So, LBG, I know that you've you've seen this on Lake Houston, um, and you know you, you'll never get, you know, a lot a lot of people they they feel that, you know, Lake Houston is just a regular old lake, and you can go there and catch crappie whenever you want. No. What's your feelings on on how to stay on fish even in tough times? And move around, and plus moving around a lot and fishing the, the different conditions. You right. don't get favorite conditions every day: calm water, sunny days, blue skies, or whatever. Some blue skies they won't bite, some blue skies they will. But I go in the yeah. rain. Right. I try not to get Mister Lightning, but sometimes I might be out there a little light. Now I don't advise it, but. Right. Sometimes, <laughs> we, you know, I, if it's going across the sky, if it's coming down, get out the water. Get out the water. But it's different conditions you fish in, muddy water, running water. That's where you find how you find where your fish gonna be at in the different conditions to fish it, you know. That's that's what I look at it, you know. And that's how Lake Houston is. You just can't go out there every day and just catch fish on it. You can't right. I didn't go out there and caught a few of them with live scope and without live scope. You know, yeah, you know, it's a struggle, but it's that's a point right. of fishing for them, right? Tell you the truth, I think I did better on consistency without live scope. You know, when you go there and just put that jig, you know, you, you put that jig in places that, and that's one thing that I thought about that trip that I was out there. When I'm talking, Gil, I'm telling you, there was so few fish that was on top of this, this everything was up under a limb, up under a root, uh, mm -hmm. uh limb sticking off of a, a a stump or something I mean, everything was hitting and i said to myself said man that was one of those days where you know you know usually even before live scope i always fish my brush piles from the top down so i'd um, catch the fish from the top of it yeah and as i the less bites i get from the top of it i worked that jig further down in there and uh without that crazy split shot without that crazy split shot with that that prevents you from getting your jig free you know you, while you're using live scope it's kind of yeah. hard to put a jig inside a brush correct because you lose them so much that's right that split shot so, uh, between that brush and you're hanging up yeah yep so but devon the, the i gotta break in real quick because heck i'm the pole the pole <laughs> deal i'll tell you what <laughs> But you see, I don't care who it is that got a pole. They are not consistently on fish. When you hear from them, they on fish. But when you don't hear from them, they're not on fish. That's the big, big deal. Uh, I, th there's been virtually no trips that I've had. And this has been, I'm talking about several days a week that I go out there and don't put clients on fish. Or if I'm out there by myself, I'm putting fish in the boat. I'm gonna tell you now, you can you can believe what you want. I don't care. It's your decision to go with what you want. 
there's nothing anybody can say that will make me even remotely believe that you can catch as many fish as you can with your transducer on a pole as you can with it on a troll motor. It's impossible. Impossible. And that's a fact. It's going to be like that you ain't got but two hands. Yep. Yeah. So that's how I look at it. Yep. You know, I, I bring I bring the info. Yes, you can catch fish with it on the pole. Yes. But Gorman didn't supply a pole with that thing. They, they supplied a mount that mounts either on the shaft of the troll motor, and they supplied a bracket for it to mount on the, the, the troll motor barrel. That's how it's intended to work. So you can do whatever you want, you know, however you want. But uh, if you want to be consistently, yeah. precisely on fish and see it, target a fish instead of dropping in a pile of fish and catching a fish, Yeah, you need it on the troll mode. If you look at the tournament, guys, I've seen one guy with a pole. Exactly. And that's within the last, since Live Scope's been out. Yeah. And all the only reason he had a pole is because he had two live scopes on his boat and they no, wanted him no. independent. Right. I've even seen guys with two trolling motors with two live scopes That's with right. two foot pedals. Yeah, it's pretty Golly. crazy. Yeah. I think Lamar had that for a while, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't Lamar Bunning have that for a while? I don't know. I've seen a few people with them. They're still doing yeah. it. Wow. Each guy will be having their own live scope and yeah. shooting at two different fish. I yeah. think uh, what's his name was it down at the marina stayed at the marina. Yeah, they did. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Did yeah, it. yeah, you're right. Yeah. They did. Yep. Jeff and them did. But even <laughs> even even doing it that way, you know, whoever's controlling where the boat is is the one that's gonna catch the most fish. Right, right, right. Because yep. just because you can see a fish, you still yep. need that fish at that target range. Right. And you don't know, you can't tell them. Uh, go closer. I'm ten foot exactly. away. I want you twelve. Exactly. Yeah. Because he's on the other fish, so you have to right. mostly cast. The other guys mostly cast them. Correct. Right. And I'll tell you now, uh, it's so rare that that I, I see that casting on Lake Houston would ever work. It's unreal. I mean, I'm virtually having to hit just about every fish on top of the dome. Right. Hey, wake up! Right here. There's a jig right here. And then you get a reaction. Yeah. Sometimes you, I'm telling you, a lot of the times I'm having to touch these fish. I know right. Lake Houston's not the only lake that's like that. But now I, I do hear of a lot of lakes where you get that jig five or six feet from that fish, he sees it and comes yep. to get it. I watched a video yesterday, Grenada. That uh -huh. jig was probably 10 feet away and that fish chased it. Yeah. That's how they yeah. are in Grenada. It's, it's right. totally different. Yeah. Oh, for him, so they finally got some some uh, long awaited rain in Wichita Falls. Man, we've been oh, getting yeah, it for the storming past... over there pretty bad right now. Yeah, we've been getting it past three days. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> DJ Cool, what's happening, my man? He say, hit that thumbs up, y'all. There, see it. What's going on, Sid? I hadn't been shouting Sid. everybody out. We've been, been running our mouth. I think Fish Sid's 14. been at Grenada. They're on yeah, Grenada right now. It. Yeah, there's I think a tournament so. yeah. this weekend. Elite. Oh, really? I think the championships this weekend. Cool. Chuck, what's going on, my man? 76 degrees is high here tomorrow in Indiana. I think we're supposed to be uh, low 80s, I believe, for a high here. I, I can't wait until today this... here it was 78 was the high. Man, that's nice. But it's a different, it's humid, so it's a little, it feels a little different. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, humidity, I can't stand it. Yeah. I can't, yeah. man, that humidity is horrible. You wake up Black and rain. it's all wet like it rained, but it didn't. Right, exactly. SK, do anyone long line troll for crappie at the lakes you fish? We used to. Way back in the day. We used to. And it's only a certain time of year that it'll work. And it's when they're in transition. But there, there used, there's still some people that, that uh, spider rig. That's why they put them off in the front. Had a poles yep. out in the front yep. and slow troll. Eight rods and yep, I did it one time. Fun. Yeah, I did yeah, it one I'm, time. It's a little different. Yeah, you got to watch yep. them rods. It's productive. Yeah, 
right time of year. It is very productive. Don't go through a school of sand bass. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn, burn unit. So he got 33 uh, new or uh, 66 uh, fresh crappie fillets for the freezer this week. All right. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Happy 10 years. I seen something about anniversary. I don't know. And I seen somebody say something about something a while ago. Hope Dennis went well. Cool. All good. I got I got a trip next week Monday. Okay. To Dennis. Yep. Any um, you got any bluegill trips in the forecast or now? I got. I supposed to been going today. Uh, uh-huh. To check out Conroe to see what the the, the gills were the dirt, doing there yeah. for a trip next week, but man, it's, that, that rain just shut everything yeah. down this week. Did it rain the, pretty man, good down there? This morning it came down really good. Oh man! And uh, but it's been sporadic. I mean, it's just yeah. you know, yesterday it showered all day with some heavy downpours in between. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It it uh. There you go, right there. Yes, that's, that's LBG's YouTube channel, right there. You guys can click on that. Go over there, and subscribe to that uh, LBG. Give him some support over there. And uh, let's get him over that threshold. This this guy yeah. is is an avid avid fisherman. Crazy. And fishing. he got the he got the unit now to to uh, show y'all what he got going on. See the coupon. Bit, what coupon are they talking about? About the coupon is only good till. I didn't see anybody talking about that. What you got going on, Jr.? Yeah. Jr. Now get his boat back running. Yeah, he's waiting on the rain to clear. Okay, cool, cool. Waiting on the rain to clear. Murdoch says, "SK, I prefer vids when fishing is tough. I have very little time to fish. I never know what the fish are doing, and I can't wait on weather." Most yep. of my trips are tough. There you go. Yep. That's how you learn. Yep. I put some pretty decent information in, in it. I mean, it's a long video. Uh, but I put some pretty decent information. In, and what you see is 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 what's going to benefit a lot of people. Right. Because a lot of people won't even see the fish that I'm targeting until they see that fish move. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good. Uh, I think it's a pretty good video. Hey, Super Dave. Go ahead. On Dovin two two five, I I accidentally uh put him in. I don't know how I hit his name and I hit his comments. I don't know if you can see him or not. I add him back in, but I accidentally did. I don't know how. Oh, you deleted him. Dovin two two five. I hit him, but I put him back in. I thought I put him back in, but yeah, no, nah, he's. I see his comment right yeah. there. There you go. Steve, okay. will you be fishing more yeah. tournaments? In your yeah, I'm gonna, boat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish some tournaments once I get my oh. boat going good. He gonna come down here and fish the tournament, the 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 one of the real tournaments down here on Lake Houston. Oh right? yeah, I will. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna do do Lake Houston, Conroe, probably maybe Summersville. Uh, I still haven't talked to the city of Houston. I got I put an email through, but I had to call and talk to some certain person. I hadn't had time to yeah, do it. Yeah, you yet. said you need permits and all that. Exactly, you got to have permits to fit, to to do a, a, a tournament on Lake Houston, which is kind of crazy, but it is a city park. So they want that money. They want their money, and city mm-hmm. of Houston, they want it for everything. Yeah, because they'll give you a ticket. Yep, and they got a lake patrol right there on the lake. Yep. They're out there every day. Super Dave said, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Yep. Appreciate you, Super Dave. Gorman support is amazing. Happy fisherman for sure. Without a doubt. You may have to leave a message yep, and they call exactly. you back. But they it is yep, guaranteed yep. that they call you back. And we'll take I their talk dear to one time guy and making um, sure we started talking about crappie fishing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was pretty exactly. cool. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. They take their time and make sure yep. that you're, you're 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 taken care of. And if not, you're gonna send it in, and or they'll send you a new one, and you put your old yep. one in the box and send it back to them. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I was a diehard diehard uh, hummingbird guy, but man, this live tech stuff is just uh, 
It's just taking over. Gorman's yeah. just taking over. Slap B said, can't stay long tonight. Just wanted to check in. It's getting prime time, y'all. It is oh, definitely yeah. getting that. Yep. You won't be able to tell from my from one of my recent trips, but it, it is that time is coming. When everybody can be a pro crop fisherman. <laughs> You get yep. ready to see pictures and posts, and I'm the best crappie fisherman. People holding big old two pound slabs up like this, making them look like they're five pounds. <laughs> or maybe they may even be one pounders. Like if they hold them up <laughs> far enough, there's some guys that are professionals at doing that. Oh yeah. <laughs> then they use Photoshop and blow them up. Exactly. Be like, yes, why sir. is his fingers three times the normal size? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, they get so good now that they hide their fingers behind yeah. the fish. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of guys that do that. I was like, man, show them fish. That way, they everybody yeah. got something to judge the fish by. Yeah. Or just catch bigger fish. You ain't got to worry about hiding the yeah. hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, fish in all weather conditions. That's what's up. Yep. Fahim says, I don't know about Thailand. But they have some big carp in South Korea. Yep. Yeah, I've been there, South Korea. That's what's up. Jerry's crappie life. No crappie there. Mekong, is that right? Mekong catfish? In yeah, Thailand? catfish, yeah. They like the fish heads. They do like a fish soup. Right, right. Yeah. Jerry Davis, what's going on, my man? Hey, JD. See, it says that's not true, and you know it. What's that? The poll. Uh, I, 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 that's what I was going to say. I already, I already know he's talking about the poll. Come on, man. <laughs> Since you so confident with your setup, then challenge fishermen who use the poll to a tournament on Lake Houston. Who? There ain't nobody uh -oh. going to fish Lake Houston against me. Uh-oh. It ain't going to happen. And then there's, there's uh, pain. Ask Payne. I mean, uh, he, he's going to tell you that I had an earlier start and his troll motor stopped on him and his motor didn't start and his boat was leaking and <laughs> his live scope <laughs> quit working. I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm serious. Guys, if you, this video that I got coming out, I'm not sure if it's going to be really, I'm, I'm not blowing my own horn. I'm just giving bare facts to people that, that could possibly use the help. Uh, there, like I said, you can do it however you want. Yes, you will catch some fish with it on the pole. Take you up on that if you're not afraid to take me on. <laughs> Come on over Ooh. here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to a neutral lake. Let's see if he take the challenge. You're oh, you're all talk. <laughs> see it. Oh man. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> oh, look here. There's pain. <laughs> I'm way behind. He said, I'm a pole hater. I'm not a pole hater. <laughs> it's bare facts, buddy. <laughs> hey, guys, in New Mexico. Tommy, what's going on, my man? This week, hey, just Tommy. hopping in real quick to hit the thumbs up. We appreciate it. Oh, cool, bro. Tommy. Thank you very much. Any crappie over there? I never Tommy. seen anyone post from New Mexico. Uh, I'm not sure. He's but, probably doing uh, something work. Yeah, Tommy's gonna make a make a trip with me coming soon. Yeah, yep. He's gonna yeah. bring his bass cat with him. Right. Well, he he didn't know if he was gonna bring it or just jump on my boat yet. So we'll, oh, we'll okay. talk. Yeah, we're gonna talk uh, a couple of days before we come and see if he's gonna bring his boat. He's all like uh, Lawrence, so he got active yeah, target. Active target too. Yeah. I would just leave Bertha. The boat. It's not worth towing back and forth. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of gas. Of, yeah, and then chance of bearings or whatever yeah, yeah. else yeah. Going, going wrong. That's another thing I want to talk about bearings. We never really talk about that. I've been doing some research, and you probably know the the vortex with that hybrid grease. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what I, I think I'm going to convert them, to because I heard that's yeah. yeah. What do you think the best all those tours on the market are? Is that just a hub or is that no, it's just a complete axle? Just the hub. Just the hub. Yeah, I'm I, I don't think it's I'm supposed not sure to be some Vortex, hybrid grease. You know what? I think the 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 tours and actual 
axles that I got, I think they do have uh, the the Vortec uh, axles on it. I, I'd have to. No, it's to just look. the hubs. That's what the I'm hubs saying. Only. But yeah, yeah. Do they have a conversion kit for the Rangers with I'm, Vortex? I'm and it that. uses um, what's that? Lucas Hybrid grease. Yeah, that's the only grease you can use because that's what they yep. pack it with. Yeah. What, what, what do you about, you have Vortex or no? I think they are Vortex, but it's, it is one, only one type of, of grease I can use. Lucas, or you don't know? I don't. No, I don't think it was made okay. by Lucas, but it, it's a special one, special type of grease. And okay, that's it's it. probably that then, because they say you don't have to mess with it for five years. Five years, you go five years. Okay. Yep. And the kit was one hundred twenty dollars each hub, which wasn't. It's okay. pretty reasonable, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. It I even came with, with lug nuts. Yeah, when I when I got my new trailer made, man, I I went with the torsion axle. Uh, I mean, you, you got a single or a dual? Me. Single. Okay. Yeah. My, when my, you replaced the hub, did you um, you bought it from the manufacturer, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the only way to go. What What was the price on the hub? You remember? Man, I don't. It's been. Yeah. I, I don't even remember. I got bearings, yeah. braces, you name. It. I got, I got the whole nine yards. Yeah, I figured for one hundred twenty, it was one hundred twenty. That ain't bad. Yeah. And for five years, you, you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to yeah. add no grease. You I want trouble nothing. free. I don't want to be on the and side I went, of the road. You know what you, I mean? You, you know, I've been guiding, so I've went five full years before I opened mine's up. Right. I did have to replace one hook. It had a little slop in my bearings. Oh, okay. But other, the other side, I just changed the bearings, new seal, new races, right. fresh grease, and it's been rolling. Yeah, they sell a, a Vortex kit. I think it's 119. Right. Oh, yeah. William says he wants the 360 for chasing Perch in Michigan on the ice. You see Hayden's I, new picture today? Uh-uh. He had I, perspective and live scope watching the same time. Oh, mm. really? You know what he's getting ready to do? Fish some shallow water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Going to target roaming fish in the morning. It's been on fire. That's what's up, Dace. See, I just caught a 280. Yeah, but look at what lake you fishing. 264. You didn't get no three-pounder yeah. and you on Grenada? <laughs> you should have been looking for a four-pounder, buddy. Come on, man. Come take me on. Listen to him. Let me come to Grenada and fish with you. <laughs> Let me come to Grenada. Wait, till you see the weights this weekend? They were on exactly. Grenada. It's gonna be some. Yep, it's gonna there'll be, be some three pounders caught this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. Black Smoke Matter says mine on a pole, so I can take it any boat. There you go. And it's like I say, yeah, it's portable. Just, I, my my thing that I'm saying is, it works both ways. You're going to be several times more productive and uh consistent with it on the troll motor bottom line that's that's all i'm saying you can you can yes you can you can put it on your on a stick <laughs> and hang it down from your boat by your hand and catch fish you don't even need a pole you can use a stick but to be consistent is what i'm talking about the video that's coming out i promise you you won't be able to do that with the pole Without a doubt, hands down. All right, Wayne, this what's up. Torque, what's going on, my man? Black Smoke Matter says colder this weekend. That's what's up. There's Miss Stephanie. Where you been? What's up, Miss hey, Stephanie? Stephanie? Wayne says plenty of rain here for a change. Yeah, it's been raining in Texas. Glad you're here, Miss uh, yep, Stephanie. Better late than yeah, that's right. There ain't no such How's thing Super as being Dave late. feeling better? Yeah, he's, he's he was ninety nine percent. Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, cool. I didn't ask him today, but he said it was ninety nine cool, cool. last week. So sweet. I man, I tell you what, man, there's a bunch of people around these areas sneezing and hacking up stuff. I mean, it's it's some Bam. you know with this little rain that we get, everything is is, yeah. is you know blooming. The the grass <clears> now <throat> is more greener than it's been you know in uh, uh, all summer. Yeah. Saying could have chain chance for frost. Oh, really? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, it's wow. October, so. I'm trying to get caught up. That's hard to do sometimes. For you bird fans, you might have missed it. Mega Live $500 rebate ended 930. Oh, okay. Mega Live. Wow. Yeah. They need to try to sell them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. They, they, they may be getting ready to come out with something different. I mean, yeah. I'm totally sure. They, they need may to. come out with a, a new system with the black box. I think that's yeah, where their hang up they is. They came out without one. Yep. Yeah. I think that's where their hang up is. Yeah. Black Smoke says he's going to Twain for a few days. Oh, okay. I've heard, cool, I've cool. heard that lake mentioned yep. several times. Miss Stephanie. Hey, Miss Stephanie. Fred. Conroe's still low. Yeah. Normal is 201. I figured it'd be lower than that. Okay, a I couple feet. Was, yeah, I thought it was four foot low the last time I was out there. Three to four foot. That rain may have helped it. Yeah. Mm. There's Mark. What's going on, my man? So Mark. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. But guys, I'm telling you, these, these crappie, I know on this lake down here, can be tough. I, another thing too I want to bring up because I've 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 had this come to my attention, and I've been working with some guys on some trips that that uh have purchased live scope. Uh, one guy bought a brand new boat, brand new live scope, all of the that whole nine. And and one thing that you have to understand is when you're new to live scoping or live teching, the the process is you leave your poles at home, take your boat out. And, and all you need to do is say, for instance, the numbers across the top that's at the very top of your screen on the live scope, that's the distance away from your troll motor. Go out there and practice finding something, even if it's a, 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 a bridge column, whatever. It could be something sticking out of the water. It don't have to be a fish. It don't have to be an underwater structure. Just get there and hold your boat at that distance and see what it takes for you to keep that boat at that distance as long as you can. Once you get good at keeping that boat at a certain distance, and and don't just find flat water to do it in because you won't be able to always fish flat water. You know, get in a little breeze. You know, sometimes I go out in 15, 20 mile an hour wind. I go right smack dab out in the middle of the lake just to get that practice. And I will tell you this, some wind is better than no wind. Because you have an issue of overshooting, and that be you want to practice doing that too. Because there will be days where there, there isn't any wind, but you you'll need to know how to to stop your boat if you're going too fast to to be able to drop your jig on that uh, that fish or that brush pile or whatever. But practice boat control. Get good at boat control before you even worry about trying to catch a fish. Your next step is go out. Don't worry about boat control all you do is turn your troll motor at different angles and you want to see that jig you want to get good enough to where as you know if your troll motor is a little bit to your left you know where to drop it in uh, uh, in alignment with your troll motor to where as you see that jig falling down turn it to your right turn it straight just different and practice putting that jig in that cone yeah. once you get good at that then go out and hunt your fish because, you know, a lot of people don't understand how fast it has to happen, <coughs> especially in the wind or if the fish are on the move. Once you get that fish to your target range, you got seconds to get that jig down there to that fish, give it the right action, and entice that fish to bite. It's not going to take, I'm telling you, seconds. You won't have a couple of minutes. You're going to have seconds to get that jig to that fish. And, and and a lot of times these fish want that jig to sit still. Uh, so within those seconds, you got to uh, accommodate for that time also. But speed is the deal. You know, I have clients all the time, sorry, drop the jig fast. Drop it fast. And then stop it before you get to the top of that fish. And then you ease down to it. But if you... You know, just being, you know, getting trying to get your rod uh, lined up and you got your fish right there. 
by the time you get ready to drop your jig, you got to get back on that fish again. So once you get the fish to that target range, it got to happen right now. Drop down there to him, give it whatever action re- that's required to entice him, and then you could possibly catch the fish. So that's the process to, to, to getting good with live scope. I know when I first got it, that, that's the process that I used. Um, and all I did was find a stump that was sticking out of the water. I said, well, I'm going to just see. I, I can see it, but I'm going to look at it on a live scope. I don't want to get too close to it, but I don't want to. I don't want my boat to drift back. And on, off, on, off, on, off with that troll motor. You're going to have to get good with that. Um, what Y'all got any tips for that on boat control? or? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, same practice. Way. Time on the Frank, water. I'm yep. on the water. Just can't have that flat water all the and time. And I still, I still practice. Before I even start fishing, I'll dip it a couple times just to get it in my mindset. And I just yeah. throw my jig. It might fall two feet. That's good enough for me. I can see it. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Who's Gigi? Gigi saying, Gigi, uh, <laughs> interference with. Old tricks, trolling motor, blown fuse. I've heard that before too, but I, I don't know of the of a fuse that that that's in the troll motor. GG. Speaking of troll motors, I had an issue with my uh troll motor my last trip out. Uh, I had client, and the good thing is we ain't got to a point say let's drop one more and we're gonna call it a day. And this troll motor start clowning. And it, it it's a, a, a it was a problem that I've never seen or heard of until I researched it, and it was the, it was given a, a paused uh, fault. So hmm. I'm thinking I haven't been back out since I've cleaned these sensors, but I did when I when I cleaned my boat up really good the other day. I soaked my troll motor down, got it all cleaned up, really nice looking, and I think some of that cleaner and that trash may have got down there on some of those sensors. Oh wow. So I could have my troll motor deployed and, and moving from brush pile, trying to stay on the fish, and all of a sudden it would just beat three times and would say paused. Hmm. I couldn't do nothing. Uh, and if I hit stow, it would raise up about six inches and stop. Hmm. And then what I found is if I shook it, it would, it would stow all the way. But hmm. for me to get it to do anything other than that, I'd have to kill the power all the way. I'm to my flip the breaker. Turn the breaker back on, then I could get it to stow, and that I don't know two to five minutes I get be able to use it, no problems, and then it it will freeze up again and give me that pause there. But I think I got it covered. Uh, I, I had been back out on the lake since this happened. Um, I'm trying to get out there, but it's it's a uh, uh, issue that uh, that su- took me by surprise because I've never heard anybody talk of it. But hopefully it's taken care of. I'm waiting on this new one to come. What is it called? I forget the name of that new one. The Quest? No. No. It's, That's it's the old track. That's the new old tracks. Riptide. Yeah, no. No, it's some crazy name that they got for it. I forget the name of it. The Minn Kota? Yeah. Minn Kota. Yeah, I can't self- remember. Snow yeah. in the point. It's a, just like the old Terror, but they got some, some yeah. other crazy name. That's right. The old tracks is the Quest. Right. What's the difference in it? What, the, what does it supposed to do? It's brushless. Brushless? Yeah, it got a brushless motor. Okay. It's supposed to give more power. Yep, okay. and quieter. And, and yeah, and last longer, better oh. efficiency. Yep. So they made it for like when you pull up to the spot, when you try to reverse it, it won't spook the fish? It's supposed to be less. Uh, yeah, less. Yeah, less. Yeah, it, you still less. get your prop yeah. wash and all of that. Yeah. It'll, it'll, I think the brush, they... They don't just go at that speed; it'll gradual. Gotcha. You know what I mean? When you hit the button, some tonal motors go high right away. These mm-hmm. things will spool up, yeah, like an engine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotcha. I like I like the instant response. Yeah, I like the yeah. spool up. The Ultrex does a spool up. Yeah, I want that instant. It's supposed to. I want bam. Not, not scare the fish as much. Yeah. yeah. BRT, really what's think going on with me? Them fish can feel that live scope, you know, and rays and stuff. I kind of oh, I know they maybe do. they do. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the pinging. Yeah, it's just the way they react. You know, I'm like something. You know, 
Yeah, because you can eat this some piles, not even make a noise, prop wash or none, just there. Yeah. You see them yep. take off. Well, yeah. the, the yeah. Whole, it's yeah. just like with me, me, you, and Steve Fish Conroe. We seen it firsthand. Before yeah. we even got to those, those that timber, those fish would be on, on the yeah. side that, that we're approaching. As we got there, they were on the back side of it. Right, right. <laughs> yep. Mark said he's going to go put some salt water in his life, Saturday. Oh, cool. What part of the coast you going to, Mark? I will in a heartbeat. Fish any lake you want. Woo! See it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go live. <laughs> Fisher 14 says Black Smoke Matters may hit MT and put in a route to your boat ramp Friday. Your your boat ramp Friday, I'm guessing. Cool. I'm here. I will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got two of them. Yeah. We'll wave fish you in Lake Houston. 10,000 right now. <laughs> 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 one says top seven lakes in texas is fork navarro mill or navarro lake sam rayburn richland chambers somerville now <laughs> take somerville off toledo being tawakity no way should somerville be mm. on that lake on that list <laughs> top seven Yeah, they know there's way too that many. That sounds cars. like the East Texas Trail. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> yep. Oh, we, here we go. Here no, we except go. Navarro Mills isn't on that thing. Chris but, Williams. Hello, my crappie family. How you doing, Chris? Hey, Chris. Here, here, here we go. Yeah, they have a East Texas <laughs> National Crappie League tournament trail. I think I texted you the picture, the schedule. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Black Smoke says I may be in the same place staying in Puma Campground, Stoutsville. Okay. That's what, Lake Houston? No. no. Oh, okay. Uh uh. Nitro Z series trailers, 150,000 miles, no touch guarantee. Really? Oh, man. Nitro, what's it say? Z series. Z -series. Okay. Yeah, I need to research what they use. Yep. I'm willing to bet those torsion axles. Fahim says. Yeah, mine has heavy. regular leafs. Yeah. I think the hubs, you can buy the same hubs. Yeah. The says, torsion we, is supposed to be a better ride, too, as far is. as shocks, yep. you know. Yep. Yep. We, the crappie family, will always never miss a catch, clean, and cook. This is guaranteed to drive your subscribers up whenever possible. Do them. Yep. Guys. Yep. But I learned on them torsion, like a lot of times they'll break, you know, around the frame. But uh -huh. if you heat them up with a torch, you'll actually mm -hmm. ruin it. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I found out about this from the trailer guy. A lot of guys yeah. be re-welding them and stuff. That's because uh -huh. that, that thing's like pressurized inside. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah they're not that expensive though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I, that's the first thing I said. If I have an issue with it, it just just change it out. Yeah, Dexter is the big. They bought everyone out. Dexter. Oh, okay. Is the, yeah, the biggest manufacturer now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I use uh, what's that a trail place on I ten right there? McLean. Going McLean. Yeah. McLean. They built your trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I called them when I was buying my new trailer. And oh, they, really? yeah, they were they were about six grand, I think, for a dual. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. for a dual, yeah. 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 They it wasn't half of my, my trade. I think I gave three grand for it. Yeah. It was All probably room. before COVID prices. <laughs> it was yeah. before COVID. Yeah. 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 COVID yeah. prices changed a lot of things. Shit, just yeah. a wheel is a thousand dollars now. <laughs> right. Yep. Right. Who says so he begging me to come? I have four oh, three. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, cool. All right, man. Super Dave says he's back to 100. Yep. That's what's up. Yep. Good, Super Dave. Yeah, being I'm six is no good. Catching three pounders, four in last year. Take me on with your consistency. Uh oh. <laughs> That's all you caught was four? 
And you fishing, <laughs> you fishing Grenada every day? <laughs> I know some guys do that in a couple of days in the tournament, man. <laughs> well, one time. Let me stop. See it. 42 three pounders caught in the tournament. Exactly. See it. Yeah. Don't take me serious, man. I said <laughs> use your pole. It's perfectly <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't take me serious, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Grenada's, uh, I seen it firsthand. I'm like, the biggest yeah. weigh-in fish I seen was a three, I think Lamar caught a 392, and I was yeah, actually right there and pounds. looked at it. Oh, oh man. really? Yeah. I'll tell you what, even a oh, three-pound fish big. don't look like a crabby. I can't imagine something yeah. that's four pounds. But I think the day before, there was like four four-pounders caught. Wow. Yeah. I think a 443 was the big fish. But I'll say this, you know, I was like, sort of uh, I was sort of skeptical of that uh, because you know that fo- last year, that following week, they had another tournament on Grenada, and the, ter- the 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 weights were totally off. Yeah, way lower. Yeah. So, so my thinking was they had to have had heavy bags, heavy crates, something. No, the guy actually that- weighed a four pounder in his boat. Oh, really? Yeah, before the weigh-in. I know last wow. year there was nothing like it caught. Mm-hmm. No, this year. This year there wasn't, I would only think of anything over yeah, three they, and a half pounds. I, I, I think that was a crappie, it was, I forget the name, cat or something that came right behind that, that big term with all those three and four pound fish last year. Probably and they Magnol- barely, Magnolia. They barely had any three pounders. Yeah. Yeah, once they're done spawning, it's done. Yeah. It starts this, around December. This is a week, like a week after. Uh, yeah, they get beat up pretty good, though. You figure yeah. 125 boats on a lake all week. Yeah. It's pretty rough for that place. Did you, did, Wayne, say he did some uh, fish head soup? I mean, you know, I'm willing to try anything. Yeah, I've, I, I grew up on it. Oh, yeah, really? Used to, yeah. But not, in, they used uh, like a rock bass or something. Oh, okay. They didn't use catfish, yeah. Yeah, there's Dale. 20, yeah, it's like a populated. yeah, like a soup, and then you put some potatoes in it and stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. You've had it, right, Bluegill? Mm-mm. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty I, good. I'm willing, I'm willing to it's, try anything. Yeah, it's I boot mostly for the broth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never ate it, but like yeah. I say, it's fish. Yeah, you know, it's yep. meat off the fish, though. You know, right? Yep. There's Dunn. Hello from Florida. SK got my new rig. Went to take oh, it out cool. Sunday to break oh. it in. Slipped and broke my ankle. And t- Ooh. Oh, man. That ain't good. Thank God my son went with me, or I still might be out there. Oh, Zero man. hours. Wow. Man, I'm sending some prayers your way, man. Yeah. Wow. Dang. <laughs> SK, I'm catching pictures with. With with transducer on TM. That that will be an awesome <laughs> email. <laughs> Man. Uh oh, Black Smoke says some meth heads up there too. <laughs> you always have to fish in cone on a pole, without a doubt, anytime. Dollar Bill, say sup everybody. Hey, dollar Bill. Yeah, that's funny. Who won the Wally Marshall tournament? This is a guy that I ain't never heard of. Uh, from Tennessee, a guy. Actually, the top yeah, three places Tennessee. I've never heard of them. Yeah, Tennessee was uh, first. Wally Marshall's uh, fishing partner was second. Imagine that. Yep. And then Ooh. Jonathan Phillips. I yeah, think he's from Alabama. Son. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron none of them ended had up sixth or seventh. Seven. None of them had they transduce on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aaron ended up seventh. Eric Cago was eighth. Yeah, crazy. Fisher fourteen says, "Don't put, yeah. don't keep stuff in open in vehicle." Oh yeah, without it, we yeah. got a lake down oh, yeah. here like that. Yeah. yeah, you can't do. First that. place got fifty thousand. You know, so they were happy. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Yep. Black Smoke says they robbed me, and I knew who did it. Took just about everything out my pole barn. Wow. Oh, man. 
That ain't good. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got you now. I forget what, was what you were saying about it now. What was GG? Gorm and Guru. Uh, uh, Trolling okay. uh, motor feed about the feed blowing. In the uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a fuse in the pedal or something? No, nah, it's in the head. They, oh, I, okay. I don't, you know, I don't know of it, but I when I know. read an article years ago, that's what that's what it was talking about. Oh, okay. But I, I've I've taken the head apart on several Minn Kota motors, and I've never seen a fuse in the. In yeah, the, I don't. Know. I wasn't looking for it, but I've never yeah. seen a fuse in there. I know they always talk about the circuit board and the pedal going bad. Yeah. So everyone, like the tournament guys, they already have a spare with them. Oh, JD, so you got the Vortex hubs, and I switched to the Vortex grease. So now I have that peace of mind for five years. Yep, that's it. The Vortex hybrid grease. You must keep grease. your eyes on the seals. Without a doubt, that, yep. the seals on the go. the inner seal. Inner seal yep. is the big one. Yep, yep. that's the first thing yep. to go if yep. you have any kind of If you see grease on your wheel, wheel. yep. Yep. I wonder why. I think they said the hybrid grease don't break down as much. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's and it don't get over stuff. pressurized. You know the bearing yeah. buddies. A lot of people over pressurize that, right? With the grease. Yep. Yep. Roadhog, what's going on, man? Do you have a Zert fitting on the back of your hub, like on the inside? Yeah, in the inside. Yeah, but yeah. not once yeah. you close it up, it's sealed. Okay. Yeah, you can't add grease to it in no time. And then you, you have can't... a thread on, on the outside. You have a thread on to your hub. Is a thread no, on that it's, cap? It's, no, it's just tap on. Oh, okay. See, I seen it's the thread on though. once. Yeah. They it's have a little O ring on it and you thread it. Yep. It, it got a got O ring on it, but it's still tap on. The one yeah. I got. They got yeah. little reels and then on you it. Put, do you put some like silicone on it and then tap it on? No. It got O ring. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've been practicing boat control for much too long now. My boat sits so still in that driveway it's a shame <laughs> oh man <laughs> come on rd or rh you gotta get out there bro oh. you got to get out there man i found my kawasaki mule in this parking lot by the bar with his battery charger hooked up oh wow oh man <laughs> right by the dumpster yeah, somebody be in trouble with that. I don't know if I call the cops first or or do what I'd like to say I could do, but I'm I don't want to say it. <laughs> when you say it, I'm like Baron Mac, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. <laughs> New Men Code Quest brushless TM. Yeah, but that's the that's the one that that's like the the uh, Ultrax. Ultrax. It's, there's a, another name for the uh, yeah. The Ultera replacement. And Garmin's coming out with one too. Do they have any a, white a white, in Texas? A white um trolling motor, saltwater. Cool. I talked to them about that. Yeah. Ask them why they didn't have it. And also I told them they need to do snow and deploy. They yeah. win me over with that. Yeah, that that I haven't seen yet. Yeah. Yes, we have whiting here. It's a very sweet meat fish mm -hmm. along the coast. Black Smoke said, he said, two dudes just dropped it off. I'm like, <laughs> and your battery charger is on it. Like, I don't play dumb. There's somebody you know really well if that's all going man, on. <laughs> that's great. Inside job. Yeah. Quest. There it is. Murdoch got it. Oh, Terrorist the Quest. Just oh, okay. Like yep. They can come up with some crazy names. It took me forever yeah. to under to, to, to think of uh, Ultrex and Ultera. Where do you get them names from? I can't tell you. Mm -mm. You know, like a Gorman Force. That's that's <laughs> Dale said. You... Even I can catch crappie on Somerville. <laughs> yeah, and they, you know, yeah, you can catch some good ones, but a lot of them like that. Oh, I got a trailer now. I'm gonna go down <laughs> and fish. That I want to go and fish and just see. One thing yeah. that I don't like about Somersville is just that it's all flat and all wide open. I don't all like flats. That. Yeah. If the if the wind if the wind gets up, you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. About like Conroe then. Uh... It's worse than Conroe. For real? Yeah. They don't have any trees around it. No high banks, no nothing. It's just oh. flat land. Hmm. 
Has a full moon affected the bike for you guys? Yes. This past full moon, you better believe it. That super moon was a tough one. Black Smoke Myers is the, uh-oh, he named him out. It's the best day his name. Man. <laughs> How, what's the water temperature you notice lately? Uh, 84 to 88. Okay, so it's dropping. Depending on the day. Yeah, it's, it's down a yeah. lot. Yep. You know, you ask, you can ask a lot of people that they're like, oh, I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't look. Some guys even say, oh, I didn't even look. That's one of the first things that I look at when I when I launch my boat, turn my electronics on. It's one of the first things I look at the water temp. Right. Because yeah. it makes a difference. Yeah, JD, he swapped from the Vortex hubs to the Vortex Greeks. Okay, so that's the difference. Oh, okay. Now I have the peace of mind. Yep. Did I bring that up again or did he come in it again? No, we were talking about it again. Yeah. Yep, huh. seals for leakage. Yeah, I want something that, you know, that's the worst thing, man, driving down the freeway and your hub's yep. out. Yep. Yeah. I see it all the time with, like, trailers, you know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, I'm feeling for that guy. Yeah. Chris says it never happens my... in a good area, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. yep. Chris says, as soon as my beam hits some of the fish, they shoot straight to the bottom on the lake. Yep. Yep, yep. that happens. Yeah. Catfish more than crappie. Especially the big catfish. The big catfish, they they don't they don't play that sonar beam. Yeah. I may take I w- that back. It's like with all fish. Nothing is always. Nothing yeah. is nothing is written in stone. But sometimes those big catfish, you hit them with that beam, you can see them take off. Yeah. I did a, a video where I, I hooked into a big old flathead last week, I believe, week before maybe, and I got right there on that fish. But he was so busy chasing them crappie. You, I, could, I just knew I was going to get him on film eating one of those crappie. But he, he never did catch them. He'd get right there at them, then they'd dart off. Hmm. And when he laid on top of that brush pile, I said, oh, yeah, buddy, you're going to eat this jig. Yeah. Drop that when, jig down there. Yeah. When Garmin can figure out to see the fish on the bottom, then it's yeah. game on. Yeah, it's game on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I they still, disappear during the day on the bottom. Yeah, I notice what they do. Yep. Yep. They rob trailers at the hitching post. As, uh-oh. Man, that dude's in. He, he needs Man. some act right. Yep. He, ain't ran into, he, he ain't ran into the right person to give him that act right yet. Has any of you fished Old River Lake east of Houston? Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've never fished the river, but I've been through there. Yeah, it's like that going to an Anawag, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Old River, Lost River, all that yeah. off in there. Yeah. Yep. They got crappie over there, you think, or no? It's fresh water, yep. but it's going into it's uh, brackish. Yeah. Oh, brackish. brackish yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Seriously, how many? How many have I caught? I've caught one. See it on Lake Houston. I've, I'm not traveling 15 hours to go to a lake that's known for 30,000 three pounders. <laughs> I'm at my local little old lake, little old Lake Houston that run everybody away. Don't nobody like my like my little old Lake Houston. But it turns out some good fish. Good to see you. Better Super Dave. Yep, that's right. Black Smoke says he lives by spalling. Oh wow, you know what he's Oh man. <laughs> Y'all blasting that dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The winner of the Big four weight was twelve twenty five. Dang, that's that's a lot, man. Oh yeah, shoot, they um, what was the record a couple of years ago? Uh, what was it? There's fish. Twenty three. I think on, it was twenty seven fish, twenty three pounds. Wow. Yeah. That's Grenada. Crazy. Yeah. There's fishing addict. We hadn't, hadn't seen you in a while, but yeah, appreciate you yeah, for, yeah. for dropping in. I remember a year before last, two fish in the bag over four pounds. Oh, you said that was Sunday. Oh wow. Dang. I didn't the Abergrand is a different lake. I don't know what it is, but 
just them fish grow so big. Yeah, Black Smoke, let us know how you do on your on your night trip, brother. But if yeah. you look. Larry says you got oh, the challenge, JK. About... Now what's <laughs> what's you going to do? <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to Grenada. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to prove with see it. <laughs> I was thinking about putting some big LEDs in front of my boat. Just I think for I night. am too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. You got my any jumbo, not my dog. Uh, Bluego, you got any um LEDs on the front? No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna like put the, some more, like the bar or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I might put some more. Especially yeah. when you're night fishing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Payne <laughs> says, Yeah, see it. Don't take him seriously. We're <laughs> not going to have a tournament on Lake Houston. Y'all, we are gonna have some <laughs> tournaments on Houston. That's without a doubt. That's for sure going to happen. Daniel, hey, guys, hope you're doing good. We're doing great. High tight. Here, tight lines. That's what's up. Thank you, Dan Daniel. Pain. Look at look at Devon. Devon, an instigator. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> he, he stay on the sideline and try to instigate. <laughs> Buddy, I'm going to tell you, peer, peer pressure ain't never affected me, not even when I was a kid. <laughs> I laugh at folks that try it. Mm. <laughs> SK, you have to admit that the tournament guys don't fish structure like we do. Neither one of us would even place in these tournaments. I, I beg to differ. It depends on the lake. It depends on the lake. There are a bunch of lakes that, that, that uh, the big fish uh, hold in open water. Come to Lake Houston and try it. Come to Lake Houston and try it. You pain. Pain. <laughs> pain. He, he come out there with two fish in his boat. Talking about he goes, come on, buddy. <laughs> Just have to have it on cover row. There's Mr. Horace. What's going on, my man? Hey, Horace. Dogs coming down in DeSoto. Uh oh. How you liking that live scope? I know he's loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a game changer. Yep. Yeah. It's just fun. Payne says it's not him home late. Houston is that's where you got to beat him to talk noise. Without <laughs> a doubt. Even O'Caro. You can't beat me O'Caro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you got your chance coming. That's all any of y'all got you got your chance coming. I'm not saying I'm the best. I, I'm not looking to win every tournament. But you better have your A game on when you come. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Steve, what's going on, my man? Hey, Steve. That is E Roll Spence Country. I don't know who that is. Yeah, that's the Ripping boxer. Lips. Ripping lips. What's up? Super Dave. That's Thanks, LT's, Super Dave. Yep. LT's uh, contact info. Yep. I got to come up with a name with some of them baits I, I had you make. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for that, that one with that chartreuse in it, uh -huh. I've been in trouble. Oh, man. I've been in this last guy trip. I'm telling uh -huh. you, man, I, man, we dropped so many baits down there. It was unreal. Mm. And, and put that chartreuse down there. Bluegill say he had uh, 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 good luck on another color. Okay. Mm. Yep. But, uh, man, I. You know, it was tough. We we used that that chartreuse bait and and uh, I was using hair jig that day. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Wayne. <laughs> no cussing on here, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Dunn says my tandem trailer has spring loaded bearing buddies. I always leave about three eighths inch from filling them up with grease. Yeah, that spring. Sometimes that spring goes bad. I've exactly. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's Quentin. What's going on, man? Hey, what's happening, man? Water temps been in the seventies for the last couple of weeks in lakes around us. Man, I can't okay. wait till they seventy nine eighty on Grenada. But the guys are going to have fun with the fifteen to seventy mile seventeen mile power winds. Oh, yeah, that's going to be high rough. High 60s this week. Yeah. There's Mr. Harry. What's going on, my yeah. man? They'll find them, though. They always find, have them. 
They'll find them. Yeah. There you go. Right here. Hey, guys, I put my live scope pole in the trash can. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Harry, how you like it? Just I was just curious how you like it. He, he, he said he looked at the results. He's been looking at the results of so the ones that say that the pole versus the one that say and and the results speak for themselves right and it's like i was we was talking about a while ago you put it on the trans on the on your transduce on the troll motor you got to go put that work in to learn yeah. the boat control and and it, it it is work but it is several times more efficient uh and you you'll you'll be more consistent i enjoyed your catfish video yeah, it was pretty cool. I had fun. I wish I could have landed that big old thing. Hmm. I just wanted to put my hands on it so I could see it. It was a nah. big one. That's right. Dunn says, what is going on with the lakes they are draining? I've been watching various videos where they are draining the lakes. Oh, uh, Yeah, I know Mississippi. They do it every year. They draw yeah, it down. Most lakes are yeah. doing the summertime, they drain them. They drain them this year, and then we really didn't get no rain. This summer. Right, to fill it. They low. So. Murdoch says, tractor supply sells a fully assembled hook, bearing, grease, the works. All you have to do is match up stud pattern. Yeah, I, I was getting the northern tool. It's like 54 bucks. You get everything. But I want to, you know, they got that better, that hybrid grease. That's the vortex. That's I heard that's the best. In five years, shoot, that's worth it. You know what I mean? Especially all the traveling I do. I'll drive 12 hours to a lake. You know what I mean? There's JJ. Say so he might come fish Houston this weekend. Been oh, a while. cool. I so want to go to Lake Houston. Havasu. That's my goal. I know Next JJ year. will be one of the guys that will participate in the tournament when we do get him going. Yep. Three-pound bluegill. That's on my plate. That's Three what's up. Bluegill. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Next year, next Justin spring. says, lakes can be drained to control the aquatic vegetation. I don't yeah. know. Sometimes, like the lakes in Louisiana, they do drain them every year, and it's it don't kill it. Right. Yeah. It dries up, but as soon as the rain hit, it, it comes back alive. So you got to <laughs> says, "SK, you got a lot to prove." With me. <laughs> I tell you what, see, you come down here fish Lake Houston one time, and you'll understand why why I'm so confident about crappie fishing. Just confidence. That's it. That's all. Wayne says they caught two guys in a bass tournament. They put heavy yeah, steel the weights. Balls. Yeah, yeah. That was. I don't think that was a bass tournament, was it? That was a oh, walleye. walleye walleye tournament. Yeah. Dollar Bill said, well, this old trucker got to lay it down. Early rise. I'm with yep. you, brother. Yep, be safe, man. You be careful on that road, man. Yeah. Get you some good sleep. Appreciate right. you joining us, brother. Super Dave! The man. <laughs> oh, of course not. Of course not. But I, I tell people all the time, Lake Houston, that training lake, if you can fish Lake Houston, you can fish anywhere else. An open water fish ain't nothing to catch. That's simple. Come, come, come! Fish them whether you got to dig into that structure to get them out of there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where the real the the real uh, fishing starts. Even if you got to pitch to an open water fish, cast to it, whatever, it's still simple. You can see it right there. It takes no skill. I shouldn't say it takes no skill, but it's a lot easier than digging into some structure to catch the fish. Rigid lights, and lights in front. That yeah, that's. Up. Yeah, I think those are uh, uh, LED. A brand. No, no, I think they're. Yeah. Uh, what's the other light call? Not LED. Uh, HIDs. Yeah, I, think, I think HIDs. Yeah, yeah. Rigid lights. Man, I think I'm that's behind. A I think so too. But I think it's made for boats. Oh, okay. I looked at them a while back. Waterproof. I think I remember or... that name. Yep, water yep. resistant. They got so many words for that now. Water resistant. Yep. <laughs> yep. Super Dave just dropped a link to, well, not necessarily a link, but my contact information. If any of you guys would love to get on the boat with me, very simple to get on the schedule. 
simple as a text or a call, uh, or you can email me. Either way, we'll get you out here and show you the real way to catch some crappie with live tech. All right, DB, we'll catch you next week, brother. Yeah, take care, man. All right. <clears throat> JD says Vortex hubs are threaded so you – so when the caps are filled with grease, they are screwed on. The grease liquefy when you drive and return the grease. And the grease. When you park, park your, boat. your boat. Okay. Yeah, the one I seen screwed on. Yeah, mine's don't screw on. They, yeah. they, they tap in. and but I, It does have a seal. I did see both because some people were saying they put some like sealant around it. And then when they tap it in. Yeah. So it didn't leak. See it. I don't care if it was if I was going to fish against five Hayden's. Hayden's. Uh, my attitude is I'm going to win. You think you? Would that's just how confident. That's how. Yeah, that's how yeah. confident I am. See, he think Hayden. Yeah, can't if you don't fish think you're gonna win, like then, those other lakes. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm sorry. If you don't if think you're gonna win, then yeah. Yeah, you got to be confident. Look at look at Devon. Look. Instigator. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? He thinks Aiden can fish. Oh. Oh, you want to read that? <laughs> Aiden can't fish Houston like the other lakes. Oh. There's Elton. What's going on, my man? Hey, Elton. What's going on? Harry, you will be sorry. Who is Harry? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Harry, oh, right oh, here. The Harry, guy you had before, Steve yeah. going next week. Yeah. There you go. Mr. Going Harry. Next week. Mr. Harry and I will be on Lake Houston Monday working our all, working on our boat control with LV. Oh, cool. And oh, sweet. JJ challenge. He's already had his chance, man. He's two or three times. <laughs> <I think. laughs> They're rubbing it in now. Yeah. Steve, Steve going to try, try it. it. Okay, cool. Week. Yeah, the I asked him yeah. how he likes it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm way behind. They drain the lakes for flood control. Yeah. Some of them do it for like birds and stuff. They don't want them in the winter time. It keeps the birds oh, away. Really? They heard. Yeah, Grenada. That's okay. what I heard. Oh. Because they'll flock up there in the winter. And... So coos. What's going on, fellas? Hey, Just getting in, was reeling in a half pound gill, then a 15 pound flathead hit. hit oh, ass. man. I had a fight on my hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get it in? That's good eating. Yep. That's a good the eating. The lady right that there. hosts the bass tournament says she can host it with two week notice. Yeah, but see, that y'all, y'all don't understand. <clears throat> You come and fish Ross Barnett Reservoir or Grenada Lake or Sardis Lake, and you will see how confident I am. There you go. It's, you have to be confident in your yeah. abilities. You have to be confident. If you're not confident in yourself, ain't nobody going to be confident yep. in you. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to need some new rubber boots to wash the show. <laughs> <laughs> Should even the last time I went out and I was playing with my live so I was like, Man, my boat control needs a little help because I don't, I haven't, I didn't do it for a month. Oh, it makes if a big you difference. You skip a few days. Yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. I'll tell you what's even worse is going from one boat to another. Oh yeah, yep. Every that, boat's that different. Yep. Every boat yep. is different. Exactly. Yes, sir. The weight, the weight is yep. different. The drift, how long it takes yep. to slow it down. Yep. The trolling motor pedal. Yep. That's it. Fishing fourteen says, "Y'all be blessed. Good luck, Black Smoke." And keep away from the fools. SK <laughs> Steve, just send me whatever from the raffle drawing. There you go. Steve's <laughs> gonna, he's going to win. See, if SK puts on tournaments on Houston, I'll be there. I knew, I know it. He knows that. I love the competition no matter the outcome. It's been a while since we fished against each other. There you go. Yeah. That's how it is a competition and your, your confidence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got to be confident. Yeah. You have to be confident. And, and even on top of that, man, you, you just got to enjoy the sport. You got to yep, enjoy yep, the competition. Yep. Win, lose, or draw, yep. be happy. All right. Ain't none of us going to get rich 
win yep. a tournament. Exactly. No, no. And after you're done, have a beer over it. That's <laughs> that's right. Yep. That's right. right. And, and learn. learn. A couple learn. Yep. Yep. Oh, another thing. Somebody brought this up. I want to talk about this before the end of the show because, and Bluegill, you ain't got to go off. I'm just going to say what I got to say. <laughs> and this going to be the end of the conversation because I see this day in and day out. And again, if you watch this video that I got coming, this, this next video, on the lakes that we fish, there's structure absolutely everywhere. I don't care where you stop. Within 100 yards, you're going to be on a lay down stump, ledge, something. Within 100 yards. Do not go to that lake looking for spots. Go there and hunt down fish, especially if you have live scope. Don't waste the time looking for no spots. Don't worry about where you've seen me or where you've seen anybody else fishing on the lake. Drop your live scope down there and go to hunting. I promise you, you'll catch more fish. They can't hit me. They can't hit me. <laughs> they can't hit me, man. I'm, uh, I'm not just talking about it. You know, they just can't hit me. Some of them can't. Yeah, somebody okay. brought that up to me, my attention before the show. They was like, man, you really need to talk about this. You really, it wasn't LBG, but it was somebody else that brought it up. And I was like, you know what? All right. We we used to talk about it all the time, but I yeah. mean, it's. Four live scope. Four live before, scope. Like, even before live scope, yep. Man, I, I, I had somebody come over me with live scope one time before I ain't bought it. Me and my son was fishing. I was like, I just want to come over here, say hello, and, uh, oh, man, I can, I can see your pole. I had got hung up. I was trying to get my jig out. Oh, I see your pole down there, man. Just uh-huh. go on. <laughs> no, just mark the, just mark the spot and go on, man. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Just, just go. I seen people come it. by me with their side scan and be marking. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, man, it's, man, it's just know. something people do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just. It it's, it's, yeah. But the thing yeah. is, don't worry about spots. Go, go hunt, especially yeah. if you have live tech. Yeah. Do not worry about spots because it's at good, times, man. like Sid says, not all lakes. Including Lake Houston, not all fish are living on the structure. That's right. That's right. It and could be a little stick. Water, it could, water. Exactly. It could be a yep. stick. Excuse me, sticking up off the bottom, just like this right here. Hold two big old yep. giants. Be your big fish of the day. And but when you're passing them up to go to that spot, you seen somebody yep. sitting. You're gonna miss I those fish. Yep. I can come out there and see you on the spot. Be like, man, here with that where I want to go. I'm going over here because you sitting on the spot I want to, but yep. you think I'm yep. the fish because I'm over yep. here. Next yep. You think over here. Man, hey. Yeah. yeah. Find somewhere to fish and sit still somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ripping Lip says, I have the vault hubs and take my trailer back to McLean every five years to have them repack and seal. There you yep. go. Cool. And when I hit five years, man, I've been doing some traveling uh, back and forth to Lake Houston, back and forth to Conroe. <laughs> And uh, and and I just I'm I'm changing every. If I open them yeah. up, I'm putting I'm putting new everything. Yeah, you keep the hub you, and just change the bearings. Or you change the whole thing. Well, I only change one hub. If, if the bearing, okay. if the if the race fit in there good and snug and tight, no wear, no cracks, just no nothing, leave it. I'll, I'll leave it. Okay. But if I put that race in there and got a little slop, especially if right. it's a brand new race and they got any slop, yeah, I'll, I'll change out the hub. You put new grease in, you clean your bearings oh, yeah. out. Or, oh yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I put new new grease, new races, new seals, new okay. bearings. If I open it up, it's going all brand new. Yeah, yeah. That I usually just buy the hub kit. It comes with everything. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they sell it like that. I, I every when I go to McLean, it, it comes all separate. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you get everything, but it's all separate. Yeah. Yep. Okay, fellas, time to get horizontal. Work tomorrow, buddy. Yep, take care, I've man. I've never safe, heard it said like that, yeah. but that's a, that's an awesome way of saying it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're feeling better, man. Yeah, yeah. Get, you gotta take care of that ankle, man. Yeah. Hey, man, on rubber boots. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Super Dave. He knows we're only joking with each other. I, oh, I yeah. hope you, I, you, you sound kind of serious yeah. there, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're just having fun. Man. It's all, it's all it's about. Is it? Times are different now. SK, those chances were when I just got into it. It's been a few years. All heart, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you be for sure. So as we get this thing settled in down here, come on down. 
Yeah, Come I think that now. East Texas they got Conroe on the tournament trail. Yes, yeah, really. That. Yeah, yeah. I ain't seen. I ain't seen. Yeah, that. I'm gonna try to fish a couple of them. These I'm gonna try. Yeah. To. yeah. Yeah. Right, I think all you do is just fish two, and you can go to the championship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends on how I'm working. I yeah. gotta lead a boat run by the all the big boats lead. I lead, keep on that. <laughs> yep. Black Smoke say you don't hang out with them people. Super Dave just dropped a link to a Facebook group that we got going on. We we uh, treat it just like we do this live show. Have fun. Post reports, picks. Uh, I'm pushing yep. for everybody that is there. That if you do go fishing, please take some pictures. You don't have to say where you caught the fish. Take a, if you watch my pictures. You see the fish. You see me. You see the blue sky. Yeah. If you don't want nobody to know where you're taking the pictures at, just aim your camera up. Take pictures. Just yeah. share your catch with people. And if you want to say what you caught them on, I I use strictly, almost strictly, lemon tackle baits. And uh, I just tell people the colors that I've used. If they want to purchase them, they can get them from them or however you want to do yep. it. All fun. Wayne says they killed my little lake one fish because of armored catfish took over. Yeah, those oh, wow. things are pretty bad. Good. Follow LBG with a drone and you will find the best spot. <laughs> Now nah, you're gonna find an angry fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch says, never fished a tournament in my life. I compete with the fish. You know, now speaking of that, see it, I'm gonna tell you something. I've never, and this is something that I say a lot of people do uh, that I'm gonna beat this person, beat that. It's not between the anglers, it's between the fisherman and the fish at all times and the clock. If you're yeah. in a tournament, those are the three things you gotta worry about yeah. yourself, the fish, and the clock. That's right. No other fishermen matter. Sometimes it takes a while, but I usually do okay. I'd love to fish a tournament just for fun, though. Yeah. And that's the way we did it back in the day. We would have one that was called uh, our, uh, what was it called, Gil? Uh, BRT? BRT, yeah. Yeah. Bragging rights tournament. It's just a bragging rights tournament. And I want to do that. You know, keep it fun. You know, it's not all about money. It's not about money. Right. But then when well, you, you got those, get a belt, you know, the guy that wins gets the belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thing is, the person that talked the most smack during the bright that one win the bragging rights tournament, then you got to say, hey, I'll, the next one's the money tournament. Yeah, yeah. And let them let them prove yourself that because yep. that is an added uh, uh, pressure when you put money on the line. Oh, it's yeah. It's an added pressure. That's right. A few years back, someone stole my rear trailer lights off my trailer while fishing Kalito. oh man hmm. Kalito Park Lake in Victoria I tell you what license plates has gotten pretty bad down here trailer license plates JJ says I got a lot of interest in put putting a monthly tournament on Conroe probably going to start in the next two months oh, cool. okay let me know all fish don't live on structure. Everybody on Lake Houston thinks SK keep them in a basket. <laughs> <laughs> they out, you buy right. <laughs> yep, Jim Butts, I know you're listening. That's Jim <laughs> Butts. You keep them in a basket. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, actually a bass tournament. They got caught doing that. For real? Yep. They yeah. put they before Locked something. They put killer. them in a the basket and went and got them. Yeah. A lot of people do it. Yeah, we used to mess with – there were some guys that lived right on the lake. And uh, we used to mess with them uh, when we did have them turn. It was really bad. But the thing is, you still got to be able to catch the big fish to put in the basket. Yeah. You, still gotta catch you know, the and, and I passed up a couple of guys that were sharing fish. And they get to the way in, and they, you still lost. Oh, I man. Mean, you know, it, it loser – you know, cheaters never win in the, in, the, in the end anyway. It's like the walleye guys. You know, they exactly. filled the – and yep. they were the one without the weights. Yep. <laughs> That's yep. what's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Chuck says, National Crappie here this week at Rough River, Kentucky, about yep. an hour and a half away. Cool. National Crappie League. Okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Then they got a couple big tournaments coming up. Um, Nash something Crappie Alliance, Tennessee. There's a couple big tournaments. Willow, Willow, something. 
Uh, yeah, there's yeah. two big tournaments in Tennessee coming up. Cool. That's what's up. Good payouts. Yeah. I know that one this weekend is probably going to pay 30000 or more. Yeah, yeah, I seen the advertiser. I think yeah. for the National Crop League was twenty thousand, I believe. Yeah, I think I yeah, seen this that one's the elite, the crappie masters elite. Okay. Yeah, that was like thirty two hundred to get in on it, and it was like five lakes, and this is the championship for that. There you go, JJ. That's it. That's it. Have a bigger time. The money. Yep. Deal. Yep. Yep. You can't have some whiners, though. I'll tell you that. You can't have whiners. <laughs> it's uh, going to be fun. Not about the money. Don't want the drama that comes with the money. That's right. Yep. There's a lot of drama sometimes. It does. It yep. does. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, man. Me getting no. up with these. Three o'clock, two thirty, three o'clock in the morning, man. It's been, whew. yeah. I'm on East Coast time, man, so it's different. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I know how Super Dave feels. <laughs> yeah. What about another YouTube tourney? That would be that was fun too. Yeah. 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 Thing is, signal. You know what I mean? That's the bad thing. Yep. yep. Yeah, I've worried about that for a little while too. But the thing is, is is is, is you just re- you don't do it live. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we didn't do it live because I know I would have ran into some issues in some of the areas that I was right. in. Yeah. With the uh, with the uh, service. Do any of you have do it, have any of you tried using a fly? I tried using it years ago. Yeah, years ago I used to try it. Yeah. I didn't really. Nah. I tried it when I went before I live scope. I, I used to try it. Yeah. I know friends. That's all they use. And he, this guy, has won Crappy Masters tournaments with a fly rod. Really? Wow. Nine footer. Yep. Torx. So that was before live scope. Tournament tourneys. The Conroe tourneys. That's what's up. Cool. I remember before live scope, I never used a rod over ten foot trees. Oh, you know. No. No, never before. Now with live scope, everyone's you know, eighteen yep. foot rods. Yep. I, I I die if I ever go eighteen foot. Yeah. I got a, got that fourteen, but I you try it. it out yet? Yeah, I like yeah. it. Fish with it the other day. Yeah, I like it. You know, I'm joking. Oh yeah, but see it, man. Oh, I just yeah. want to make I just want to make sure you got, got kind of like it sounded like you was hollering when you saw the comments. <laughs> okay. I was He's like, make sure, <laughs> make sure you wasn't hollering over there, beating on your keyboard. He I might be on gay. Grenada right now. <laughs> hey Sid, you on Grenada right now or no? He might be over there right now. SK, where the man says possible high winds from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. when front gets to you. Yep, you're right. Yeah, it's coming through Dallas Fort Worth right now. Yeah. We got tornado yeah, we, warnings and stuff up there. Wow. Yeah. The oxbows of the Mississippi have very little structure except on the bank. You look for the bait, not structure. Lots of SI this time of year. Huh. Yeah. But big fish, sure. you know, Mississippi ain't the only place. You know, they catch a Four pounders in Kansas. Yeah. You know, the East Coast, California. Yeah. That Clear Lake's got some big fish there. Oh, um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Very little structure where I fish a lot, too. That's what's up. And it's when, when I tell you what, y'all watch that video that I released, you'll see. Just how much struggle. I mean, Houston's is plum covered. Right. I, mean, I talked to a guy that's new to crappie fishing in Lake Houston. He got live scope on his boat, and he was like, "Man, I've just never really just took my time and and uh, just trolled through a lot of this stuff." Man, I didn't know. And, and he was in an area that got a hundred stumps and laydowns and all that in it. He said he's always flew flew through that area. So if you don't slow down, you do never know. Yeah. You know. That's right. That's right. 
You got to put that time in. That's the best part of the work that you have to put in. LBG, how did you do Monday? Call 20. Cool. Call 20. Like Houston mostly has black or white. It has a mix of both, but mostly white. Yeah. Conroe, more black? Correct. Oh, oh okay. More black, yeah. Yeah. It depends too. on yeah. It depends on if you fish the south end, you got more yeah. chance of catching whites. You fish the north end, more chance of catching black. Okay, more timber at the north end. Definitely. Yeah, yeah that's what. It, yeah. I'm not fishing tomorrow. No. You all yearning. Yep, you're right. Then got yeah. tired. I'm first dot. My phone will be ringing here in a minute. Uh oh. Yeah. Has anybody used Quick Draw and Gorman? If so, are their scans updating when you update with Active Captain? I'm not sure. I, I don't. I'm scared of that stuff. You know, I'm, I, I feel that when you do an update, they they robbing your waypoints anyway. But I don't know how that works. But now I I don't even ever touch that that stuff. That's what I hate, and I gotta get all my waypoints back, and I gotta go back through all my spots and mark fish, mark spots now. No, just save it off your old one, and then put yeah, it on the card. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Yeah, GPX file. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, how I do it now? You put a card in there, and you save it to a card. Pull the okay. card out, and then import it just into the garment. Import it to the other one. Yeah. yeah. Murdoch, just, you're right. YouTube it. YouTube it. It'll show you how. Yeah. Cool. Murdoch. Or just give me a, I'll text you the instructions. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. Because I was like, man, I got to go back through and find out. I know what No, no, no. You can download them. Yeah. Yeah. That way it's you're easier for you. Correct. Murdoch is totally correct. Lake Houston has too much structure, without a doubt. All right. Without a doubt, it has too much. It floods every year, so it's bringing. Yeah. I'm surprised there are no trees still up north. Yeah, it's just about all sand. It's a sandy yeah. lake. So when it when we have a flood, the banks erode, big old pine yeah. trees, any every kind of tree Cypress is in trees. that lake. Cypress yeah. trees, you name it. Willows. Yeah. Oak, all kind all everything. <laughs> Ripper Lip says, LBG, that was me that trolled to you and your son. I just wanted to talk and say hi, not to mark that brush pile by them houses. Oh, you man. I don't know about that. <laughs> I believe you guys caught around 42 that day. I don't know, Ribby Lips. You marking spots that day. You just, get, you just getting into it. Is this the person who I think? Oh, is this? Is this, if this, if this Reggie even changed his name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It gotta be if he know who we if it, if he's talking about well I don't know it wasn't but it's not by no houses, uh, it's not by no houses. Yeah, it is, it, it is, it is. That's him. That's who it is. He know what I'm talking about because I can't get him off the spot now. Dang, <laughs> it's all good though. Ain't no problem. But I be like, I fish. I got other people. I take fishing, so I don't. You know. I have my spot. I take my time to find my spot. See, it says SK. I said after. I'm always joking. Is that I'm going to steal your boat plug if you ever get to fish the same lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's my best laugh I've had all day, buddy. <laughs> that's funny right there. <laughs> that's funny right there. Guess what? Your boat got boat plugs in it too, so I'll just steal yours. And and when I see that you took mine, I'll put yours in mine. <laughs> that's that's funny. What's going on, Jeff? What's up, Jeff? Yes, sir. Rusty, what's going on, my man? Say, what is up? What is up, guys? Has it been as tough for y'all as it has been for me lately? White bass and small fish only. Think I might try bird watching. What lake you on, uh, Rusty? I'll tell you what, Lake Houston, uh, man, and this is, I'll say this, Lake Houston's making a great comeback, man, because there's a bunch of small fish in that lake. I mean, mm -hmm. a bunch. Uh, and it's a good thing. Uh, but if you got live scope, you have to 
you have to use your your live scope the best you can to to target the bigger fish and and another reason why i like it on the troll mode is because i can target a specific fish without a doubt i watched an old jimmy houston video on gibbons creek uh not in conroe but i know what gibbons creek is that was a crappie looking lake yep still is i mean that thing is plumb plumb stacked gibbons creek is is it's all private now yeah, that's uh, what they got it that. yeah that's it don't have any many big fish in it but it is it it got a big population of crappie in it okay uh i'm gonna try it like i gotta do it because i gotta i gotta read Get out my spots back instead of trying to run the lake and get them. Appreciate you. But hey, Rusty Shocker, were you kidding anybody in Louisiana? I know that last name. I know some people got that last name. Let me know it's Louisiana. Yeah. Oh, he in Arkansas. Yep. There's George Baker. So George Running Baker. real late, fisherman. It's never too late to hit the thumbs up. I appreciate you, brother. Well, you just about in time for a giveaway because I'm going to get one started right now because I'm not for sure we're going to make that full. Oh, we're right there at the two hours now. Yep. But I'm still going to get this giveaway tool going. And uh, then we're going we gonna to shut this thing down. Yeah, Any yeah. questions on on uh, getting on crappie on a tough day? Any questions before we get out here on catching crappie on a tough day? Just stay with it. Come back the next day or day and try it again. You know, it's fishing. You know, they they gonna differ from day to day. Yep. The wind, the, you know, the water color. You know, they gonna differ. Bait fish. So you just gotta keep trying it. That's all I can you know say. Can't uh -oh, get Wayne, Wayne can't get on my boat, y'all. Say he pulled the wrong drain plug. <laughs> Can't get on my boat. Sound like sound like somebody I know too. <laughs> Steve, you coming to Lake Houston tournament? Word is SK is giving away a new ranger. <laughs> That's funny. You can see a human on live scope. I've had. Yep, without a doubt. Yes, you can swim by. I can see. Head and feet, arms and legs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Will, will you forgive me if I use me? Hey, man, it don't matter about. Hey, it's whatever. Put the fish in the boat. All right. That's what. That's all that matters. Get them in the boat. Why my older folks like the small crappie for eating because they can scrape them and fry them whole. Mm -hmm. I do it a lot. Yep. Only way I used to eat them when I was growing up. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Any of you guys that are new, watch what everybody else do. Uh, all you have to do is type in hashtag crappie to be entered into a giveaway. Uh, you will need to be subscribed to the channel for the giveaway tool to pick up on you. How do I find out what color jigs Limits Tackle has for sale? Uh, you can go to his Facebook page. He has yeah, several. under photos. Yep. Yep, under photos. And then there's there's tons of pictures. And then photos, then plastics. I've been looking for that. I've been, you know, what I want to really record with my live scope is alligator. That's what I want to record. Mm. I've seen one on live scope, but I it it didn't last long, so I uh I didn't get a chance to record it. And on top of that, I was on a on a guided trip, so I didn't take the time to to do it. I didn't grab another drink, y'all. Let me grab me a drink. How you enjoying your stay up there, Steve? Hey, 
and Steve done froze up on us. Okay. There you go. It froze up a little bit, huh, Steve? Yeah, this my internet's like bad. Is it good. better? Oh. Is it better now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It froze up okay. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's just because I'm on the over the air. Yeah, you were stretching, but you stayed up there too long. I mean, <laughs> you were stretching that long. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. When you think you're gonna go fishing next time? Can you hear me, Steve? Hey. How about you, Steve? Make it froze up again, y'all. Yeah. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, SK took off for a second. Yeah, he went to go get him a, some to drink. I think some. Oh, yeah. Josh Beck, I don't know where is that lake at. <laughs> Cameron, is that in Alexandria? Clear Lake. I think it's in Ellie. I think. Uh, I was using a hair jig. It was a. Uh, the color was a uh, cotton candy. That's a Chanel color. It was cotton candy I was using the other day. But I use a lot of different ones, but that was one that's been working the last couple of trips. LBG, you ever fish Clear Lake in Carmel? Oh, that's in Cali. No way. Ain't never been to Cali. I've been to Louisiana. That lately. I ain't been to Los Angeles. Nah, we're mine, though. So somebody asked, what was that question somebody asked about color a while ago? That was a... Uh, Did I answer that? Uh, I don't know if you answered it or not. You said I was using a different color, but I was using it. Uh, oh, yeah, talking about Steve. Yeah. 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 All righty, y'all. Okay, the solo pairs. Oh, it is done. Okay. No, I haven't fished it, George. Do you upsize or downsize tough conditions? It just depends what the fish want. I start off smaller, then if they want bigger. You know, it depends on the shad, too. If I see the shad size. Yep. Means a lot. That's right. Give them what they want. Yeah, I had to go get me another drink, y'all. About to die. Another thing, guys, I'm going to uh, have these hats. I'm going to have these hats going here after a while. Got uh, several different colors. I'm not ready yet. I want to make sure that, that my that my quality is right. Ooh. And uh, we got these uh, the patches, the ones with the patches. That blue on blue is my favorite. That's my, my baby right there. And then I got, well, I can't take this one off. I got my headphone on. This is another one, too, that orange. You know, I'm a hunter, so I I don't have to have orange, but it's just I've always liked hats with orange on it. So whenever we get that going, I'll, I'll post up. If you'd like to get your hat, you can do so. Match the hatch. There you go. Wayne says yep. match the hatch. Yep, yep. yep. It. Without a doubt. Super Dave says, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate your Super yep. Dave. All right, it's we got that. 30. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I know in the wintertime, them shag get a little bigger, them, them fish hit a, they'll hit a bigger bait. Yeah, yeah. In yep. the wintertime. So. All right, here we go. Last second. Two seconds if you're going to enter. Hashtag crop it just as you see it on the screen right there. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Steve is still out of town, so we're going to... Black Smoke Matters. Oh, yeah. 
I think that's his first time winning. Congratulations, Black Smoke. And if you don't know, if you do win, just uh, let me write this down real quick before I do the next draw. Send me an uh, email. Super Dave just put my email address in the chat right there. Send me an email with your mailing address, and I'll get these uh, jigs out. I can't promise you this week, but uh, probably next week. Everybody that that's won already from weeks past, that everybody should be. I'm current right now, so everybody should have their, their jigs already. But we're going to do another drawing, and here we go right now. I thought. Here we go. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> Steve. Bumfield. It's a new name, huh? I think so. I don't, I don't ever remember him winning. And I'll send y'all a uh, a mix pack of uh, some of the hottest baits I've been using. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy them. Well, that's what I got for this week. I hadn't seen any questions come up about crappie fishing so there's black smoke says thank you you're welcome buddy we appreciate you being on every week george says congrats super dave says congrats wayne says congrats we got a good group of guys here y'all i'm tell you something uh if you got some buddies that that enjoy Crappie fishing. Just have them come you. join us. Have them come join us. We we love talking about crappie. That's it. And uh, I've brought all that I, th I can think of. Like I say, I got that video coming. Y'all don't want to miss it. Got anything else, LBG? No. Appreciate everybody joining. I enjoyed it. It's been a yeah, while. Yeah, it's good, man. Good the show, so. I'll be yeah. home next Wednesday, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at cool. you talk about. <laughs> I come, I still can't catch a four pounder in my sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. We Thanks, appreciate Steve. you joining us, man. There's the Squiddo. I ain't shot out Squiddo all day. That pain. Right. Did yeah. you put that whole that pole away and go to the TM? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. A transducer pole. <laughs> See, crazy. All right, guys. As always, we appreciate you being with us. Yep, um, it was good. Steve, LBG. Yep. It's a, a surprise having it. LBG on the show. And, uh, <laughs> Super, yeah. Super yeah. Dave, uh, Slick. Uh, we can't. We hadn't had Big Les in a while. He's he's been working hard, hard just as hard as LBG. And uh, we appreciate everybody in the chat. Hey, I'll tell you what, guys. Go fishing. Wet your line. Catch right. some crappie. Yeah. Have fun doing it. Be safe doing it. Wear your life, your PFDs. That's and right. uh, we'll see y'all next week. Same time, same, same flavor. Place. All right. Peace, y'all. Have a good day. Yeah, take care. Peace. All right. All right.